hello hello welcome to the 20th of december steering wheel chat with your host Gemma mills this is becoming a thing isn't it steering wheel chat um it actually is quite comfy for me because um it doesn't hurt my arm to hold the camera up and yeah selfie mode is just yeah easier with the, holding the camera rather than faffing about with a tripod and certainly in the car well, i wouldn't faff about with a tripod in the car but oh what am i talking about so, how is it the 20th of December? I am starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed. No, that's not true. I'm feeling a little bit thrown. I think thrown is the word we need to use today. Um, by how fast time is going. And, and can we just talk for a moment about where 2022 has gone? Like, it, bye, see you later. It's gone. There's like two weeks left of it, less than that, which is just a bononkers. Um, so, yeah, we are at work again. This is day three of six. Um, it is hands down my favourite week of the year in retail, especially in the yarn shop. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it here. Um, got a little bit emotional yesterday walking, doing the film of walking up to the shop with my cop. Once I've been to Havisham's and got my coffee, I was just like love it here I'm so lucky and I am I'm really lucky I'm really blessed to be able to work here and I just I never ever take that for granted it is blooming hard work it is incredibly stressful there have been many moments where I've just thought oh my god I can't do this this is too much but they are offset by the incredible highs the community the wooliness the just I've got the best bosses as well. They take such good care of us. They really do. Um, we don't know we're born, really. Oh. Anyway, it's getting a bit sentimental. This will end up on the Hallmark YouTube channel, won't it? If I carry on like this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, last night, I had a really lovely evening. I sat and um, worked on my husband's sock i don't know why i'm telling you this because you know this already or you will do I haven't actually uploaded i haven't even exported the um info yet and i was meant to export it before coming to work and i'm looking at the timestamp on my camera and i'm like damn Gemma, you need to stop talking because you have got uh 28 minutes worth of recording space left hmm mind you i mean i work there's not an awful lot going on today at work. I've got to do some yarn shopping prep um, and some sale prep because I'm having a big spring clean. Basically, we don't do an annual January sale. I've never done that because in a small business, it just doesn't work. We don't run our prices at massive high profits like huge commercial companies do. We can't afford to do Black Friday, January sales. Um, and certainly as a consumer, especially at the moment in cost of living crisis, and, and obviously I was an adult through the last recession as well, I would be like, well, if you can afford to sell it to me at this price, then I am not paying full price for anything. I'll just wait. If I want it bad enough, it will be there. Um, yeah, if I want it bad enough, I'll wait for it. Um, but we just can't. And, and I would do that. And I would do that here as a customer as well. But I, we can't afford to do that. Our stock needs to work for us all year round. We deliberately keep an eye on our prices. This autumn, all the cost of buying stock went up. But we did not pass on those price increases to our customers. We absorbed the loss, um, which for a small business, having come out from a pandemic and now plunging into recession is not easy. But I was determined that we would at least do a couple of months before, you know, having to pass that on. And we've done it. We made it through till um, from, I think, June were the first increases that we started to see, like first real, real time increases um affecting our stock and we made it through to november i mean obviously that's affected our bottom line it's affected my business plan going forward but uh, i'm selling something that's going to help people in the energy crisis and i just want to help people keep warm and woolly but we are having to pass that on now we can't absorb it it's it's too difficult we're a small business anyway all that to say 
what I am doing and I do every so often is I have a bit of a clear out when the time is right and the time is right now for me to say do you know what this stock isn't working for us I need to release my investment back to myself and um so my investment like it's my business but I need to release the investment back to myself and reinvest it in new product that I think or I know now from getting to know my customers my customers will love so I a big job for me this week because I'm away when we reopen in January I'm going up to stay with Jude in Scotland I'm so excited to go and stay with him I've missed him so much I've seen him a couple of times over the past couple of months obviously um but I'm going up to stay with him taking Robin and we're going to have some quality time and yeah anyway more on that later so I've got to get my to-do list basically cleared before I go and my to-do list for context hasn't reduced since 2019 <laughs> it's just immediately replaced with new things um yeah they say no rest for the wicked I'm I'm just pure evil <laughs> don't know what that was it's like, it's like a tiger it's not a devil is it oh my gosh I don't know I don't know um yeah I've got to wrangle some sheep sort out sales stock um and that involves sort of looking back at sales trends and looking at um category sales and what categories work best for us and, and what our customers want um I've got to chase down some reps who have yet to get back to me and place an order. I've got to merchandise new stock. Oh my god, my to-do list is bonkers. I will share some of it with you if I can. I'll have a look at what's on it and if there's anything inappropriate, obviously I won't share it, but, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. I've got 25 minutes left. Stop waffling, Gemma. Let's get on with the day. Come on then, come help me get on. Hi, sorry if the sound's a bit off. I'm running a bluff. Um, I don't know why I'm so worried about having no um, camera roll for footage. I didn't record a thing. We were quite busy all day. Um, bought the team East Anglia Yarn Festival social tickets, which was awesome. Um, and yeah, lots of lovely customers. Got some bits done on my to-do list. Still got a shed load more to do. Did not touch my knitting needles all day. But tomorrow, whew, tomorrow should be quite a day. Tomorrow, there's no market in the town. I'm on my own in the shop, and it will hopefully be a bit calmer. I can knock some more important bits off my to-do list. I've still got some work to do tonight, and I've got to edit yesterday's vlog, um, and try and figure out what to do on today's vlog. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's meant to be real life, isn't it? Not all planned and prepped. Um, and today is not gone as I thought it would. So what I might do is just have my bath, do bedtime with my son, edit today's vlog, and just see what happens. Um, yesterday's vlog and today's vlog I'll deal with tomorrow. But yeah, I can't believe it's the 20th. Trying not to think about all the things I've got to do that I haven't done yet. Mm-hmm. 